Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Avantry DG60P. Now this is, as you can see, this is a Bluetooth transmitter. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, as usual, full disclaimers, I actually grabbed this from Amazon maybe about two months ago. Uh, I was not paid to do this video, nor thoughts and opinions on my own. And yet this just used a, Qu a Qualcomm chipset. It doesn't state exactly which one, but I presume because it's a 24-bit 96 kilohertz. It might be the QCC 3071. Somebody else will probably know in the in the comments. So yeah, let's get into it. So that's what you get. So the P model, I think, is just an update, as far as I'm aware. There's obviously you get some specs, uh, adaptive range which is way more than enough HDR quality bluetooth 5.3 information there specs so it obviously uses a qualcomm chipset like i said before it might be a 3071 could be wrong but somebody probably might know so aptex adaptive aptex hd low latency aptex and sbc would be good to see aac but it doesn't support that it'll probably just fall back to SBC, I've tried this physically already with adaptive and HD. I don't own anything that's low latency, which is a bit of a shame. Obviously, there's all the specs. Um, obviously, I've already been using this, so this is what it looks like. So that's like a flash drive size. You got the button to like reset, pair, and stuff like that. You got for music is up, down for gaming. Obviously, the aerial, which is massive, really. The guide comes in a few languages. Obviously, I'll quickly show through English. Which is quite important. So that's what it is. Info about contact details. So colours, and that's how to use the buttons. Super straightforward. So that's what the colours mean. So that's what you want to pay attention to to make sure you know what of your earphones or headphones or whatever. Make sure it's the right one basically. Pairing, how to use it with your computer. I will show that as well in a, the next clip. I will do a screen grab. PS5 compatibility. Allegedly, I don't own a PS5. Um, and that's it. So, what else should you get? Bit of documentation, contacts, safety and warnings. 24 month warranty so that's pretty good and this is just basically an extension cable so plug you could plug that around uh, the back of your pc i put this on the top of your desk or something like that so yeah it's pretty much it so i've spent a bunch of time with this so in the next clip i'm going to show you what it looks like in windows 10 um because it doesn't act like an a Bluetooth device, it acts like a USB audio device, like a USB sound card, and then onto my review. So, this is what it looks like in Windows 10. So, obviously, ignore all the other stuff because that's just obviously specific to, for my computer. So, this is what it comes up in Windows 10. I guess Windows 11 is the same. It comes up, see, it thinks it's like an audio device, not a Bluetooth device, so it's a little bit different. But anyway, click properties levels i think by default it was 100 percent please do lower it before you try anything now i'm at 20 with the bang on and h10s it seems fine enhancements always disable them by default it isn't so make sure you check that advanced you can see it goes up to 24 bit 96 so i presume it's the qcc 3071 qualcomm chip that's what i presume is in there um Special sound is off. Same for recording. Obviously, I'm using the tonar to speak to record this voiceover, but obviously this does work as well. So click properties, levels, again, adjust it to whatever. Obviously, hundreds way too much. So play around with whatever you need to. Advanced, obviously you can do up to 16 bit 48. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, so welcome to my review section of the Avantry DG60P. Quite a mouthful. Obviously, this is a device. This also does screw off, if that matters to you. Obviously, you saw the buttons. So it's in gaming. See, for gaming, for music, 
one button there obviously that's an LED light also there as well simple as that kind of USB stick size so let's talk about compatibility basically I use this with Windows 10 I guess it'll work the same with 11 it's also compatible with PS4 and PS5 I did try with the PS4 briefly and it worked but, but most of my testing was done with my PC um, via a USB 3 port if that matters USB 2 should probably work as well um, yeah, so pairing, obviously all you do is you hold this down for a few seconds, the MFB as it states there, and that flashes, to, um, it flashes and then you just pair and it works like that. It does not work like a Bluetooth device, it works like a USB SIM device like the previous ones I've done, the little that adapters with Qualcomm chips. Deep down it's probably got a lot of the same parts but it work, does work like that. So I've tested this with three items, one the Philips Fidelity L3s uh, via Aptex HD and there is noticeable lag but it's fine for music as in and strength um, but there is a delay so I don't recommend it for that now this these, these are the Earphone Air Pro 3s I may or may not do a review, a review of them um, that's Bluetooth 5.3 and Aptex Adaptive and last of all put these over there so you can see they are the Bang & Olufsen H10s, Bluetooth 5.1, Aptex Adaptive. So in gaming mode, I've tried this a few different ways. So I watched the show uh, The Continental, which is new on Amazon Prime Video. Obviously not sponsored or nothing, but I just... Um, obviously that's something that I'm streaming from the internet, obviously through Prime. And it worked absolutely perfect for that, and I tried it with these. Absolutely perfect. Uh, something like YouTube content, again, which is being streamed to you, worked absolutely perfect. Um, gaming, no, I don't do competitive gaming. So I thought I'd try it with a first person shooter, and I've got Crisis 3 um, installed, remastered, just an example. Again, it seems to work perfect. I don't think it's zero millisecond, but it's really, really low. So I tried to check with any anything like lip syncing, and it all seems perfectly fine. Now in a competitive gameplay, it may be different. Um, but for semi-serious gameplay, like on Crisis, like on Hard, it seems absolutely fine with both of these sets. I also tried them on a the game called Stray, which is the one with the ginger cat. You know what I mean. Um, and again, it seemed perfectly fine. Super easy to use. Now, I think it's just over £20 for these, um, which seems quite a good deal. But anyway, let's talk about kind of connection. Now, in gaming, as you can see there, you obviously want to be in the same room. Obviously, if you've got this plugged into your computer, you're mostly likely going to be within like a metre, two metres from it. Absolutely perfect signal strength I had. Now, I don't know what this would be like if you're in a crowded environment or if you live in, say, apartments or flats. Um, but for my use case, it was absolutely perfect, which is good to see from something random off Amazon, basically. Obviously, this is available on AliExpress, but I got mine from Amazon UK. Obviously, I will link whatever I can in the description. Um, but yeah, it seemed perfectly fine. So, it all depends on... Now, this exists if, one, you don't have any Bluetooth at all, or you do, and it sucks, basically. <laughs> So I do have a Bluetooth solution on my PC, but anything Bluetooth 5.2 and over, I think, it never pairs. So I had to get a solution to get around that. And this is why this exists. Also, this is only for audio products, not for like controllers, keyboards, anything. It's just an audio protocol. And I've said, I've only, I've only tried it with Aptex. Aptex HD and Aptex Adaptive, which is these two. Obviously, it should work with low latency. I don't know for anything that's low latency, which is a bit of a problem. But from all my errors I've thrown at these, because I've, I've had this about two months, give or take, um, it, it's worked perfect. Now, if you've got Windows 7, I don't know what it'll be like. I'll just move these out of the way. Yeah, it seems perfectly fine. It seems a pretty good adapter. It just depends if you need something like this, and I'm sure this is around £20, um, so it's not too expensive. It would have been great to see something like, something like this with LDAC and um, AAC, 
that would have been fantastic but obviously this is only Qualcomm so it's only got Qualcomm's codex on it basically but yeah it seems fine so conclusion is do I recommend this uh, yes it works absolutely fine for my use case I've not tried any serious gaming I've not tried it with a PS5 I'm just going from what I've tried it with but the connection's great super easy to pair the colours on the LEDs show you what codex currently using. Um, yeah, obviously you saw it in Windows, you can choose up to 24-bit 96. And I, don't, I know these support 24-bit 96 because I've tried it and it worked absolutely fine. And yeah, obviously it's not lossless, but it's it's getting close to lossless and I'm the convenience of no wires. And I think that's pretty much it, not what what to say like sound quality obviously is good you know it, it, work, it works perfectly fine i like that it's plug and play you don't need any drivers it's like they give you another cable that's you obviously saw in the unboxing that you can extend it so let's say you want to plug them to back your computer and then you can just put this on your desk or something then plug in the front um, with the extension cable that's it i don't know what to say signal strength is good seems quite cost effective it does exactly what it's supposed to. Obviously, nitpicking, I love to see in, uh, at least AAC support, but it doesn't have that, and that's pretty much it. I I don't obviously have the exact measurements for latency, but it seems incredibly low to a point I never really notice. So it may be 2 milli or 3 millisecond, I don't know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you think I missed anything or you want to know any more questions about my time with it, please do let me know in the comments as per usual. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, take care and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.